Thanks, Bella. Tropical storm Helene is spinning through the southeast and Midwest this afternoon, causing flash flood emergencies in some areas. The storm came ashore in Florida's Big Bend region as a Category 4 hurricane late last night, killing at least six people and knocking out power to millions of customers. CBS's Tom Hansen has the latest from Tallahassee. A giant tree into an apartment building in Tallahassee and boats in the front yards in Treasure Island. Daylight revealed scenes of utter destruction along Florida's Gulf Coast. The early reports we've received is that the, the damage in, in those counties that were really in the, the eye of the storm uh, has exceeded the damage of Idalia and Debbie combined. Helene is the third hurricane to hit the Big Bend region in the last 13 months. It came ashore as a Category 4 storm with winds up to 140 miles an hour and storm surge up to 20 feet. Its outer bands nearly swallowed up these cars driving along a bridge in Tampa. Authorities there say a falling highway sign hit a car, killing the driver. This rescue team in the city of South Pasadena called out for people after several homes caught fire. Florida's governor says emergency crews conducted thousands of rescue missions overnight. Rescues were also underway in rain-soaked Georgia. Crews in Atlanta helped bring a couple, their baby, and two dogs to safety. With this one, the vehicle was, was traveling in through the water, and the vehicle started to float, and it floated it off the roadway. They were able to get out of the vehicle and get on top of the vehicle. Helene's high winds also knocked out power to an estimated 3 million customers all across the southeast. Farther north in the Carolinas, Helene is causing life-threatening flooding, especially in mountainous areas. Forecasters expect the large system will continue to weaken through the day. Tom Hanson, CBS News, Tallahassee, Florida.